dork order comes out with a coffin and lawnmowers. And Pizzeria Uno tried to do a promo using his mean voice. You ought to see what a fucking plain, bland-ass, white boy, Putz McGee-looking fuck this guy is under this mask. It's um, it's incredible. That I've is- never... S- I've never seen a more nondescript looking human. This guy's the invisible man. Cause you would look right past him. You wouldn't even see anything. That has become um, your favorite name slash phrase. Putz McGee. Putz McGee. <laughs> uh, Cause that's what, that's what I would have named all these fucking guys in this company. Why did they bring out lawnmowers? What were the lawnmowers about? Did we understand that? Did they make any I did point not, of that? I did not get what that was. I thought I missed something. Uh, then maybe they got a new sponsor, the Snapper Lawnmower people. This was horrible. It looked like any local cable access TV wrestling show with guys that have got together with their friends to play wrestler. And then they introduced, he sh- they shouldn't call him the exalted one. They ought to call him the exhausting one, Brody Lee, because every time I see him, I get tired quick. He ordered Tony Schiavone to the ring. I wrote, has there ever been a more low-budget looking heel group anywhere? Um... At least Brody started yelling to try to convince himself that he means what he says on his promos instead of that just monotone fucking blah he was doing. Did you did you hear him actually quote so all you indie wrestlers no more TV time because he's taking Cody's title away, right? Yeah, that was great. All you all you indie wrestlers no more TV time. He should have said except for all the ones in my fucking group of <laughs> interchangeable midgets. He introduced Anna Jade. He introduced he was trying to say he's a very she's a very important part of the dark order. He introduced a very important piece, Anna J. <laughs> Maybe a slip of the tongue there. <laughs> he knocked out one of his own guys for telling the guy was telling Brody how great he was, so he knocked him out. He kicked Tony out of the ring verbally. This, I wrote this is like the Three Stooges without the comedy. It just doesn't make any sense, but it's not funny. And then Brody Lee says, we are the hottest act in wrestling. This is, this is the kind of talent that is being produced, folks, that calls themselves acts on television. And we are the hottest act in wrestling. I'd have fired him for that alone. Dustin and QT Marshall hit the ring and got beat up. Well, imagine that. Two of them hit the ring where there's eight guys. What the fuck did they think was going to happen? And then Scorpio Sky hit and made a partial comeback because he only made a comeback on the people that fed for him. But he didn't go for the leaders of the group that he would really should be mad at. And all of them didn't feed him, just the ones that were supposed to take the bumps. So that then the girl gets in the ring and he turns his back on Brody Lee. Six foot seven, however many fucking hundred pounds to confront Anna Jay, the important piece. And then Anna Jay slaps him and Brody clotheslines him from behind. Colt Cabana never does anything, says anything, or touches anybody. He's just out there with this group because that's intrigue for all the fucking video game players that are fucking currently masturbating in their mother's basement before they open up a hot pocket. Uh, All the job guys got sloppy heat on the baby faces. Brody Lee left the ring with Colt Cabana so that... Here comes Matt Cardona to make a big comeback on all the job guys that they left him in the ring with. Why did Brody Lee leave with Colt Cabana? So that they didn't have to take bumps for Cardona's comeback. This is so contrived and obvious. This was all awkward. It didn't flow. It was obviously a series of staged spots. And it just, it's a goddamn mess. And they... That's the way they left that. <sighs> Any thoughts? Let me start with a positive. This was the best I've seen Brody Lee. <laughs> I thought the promo was actually good because he got fired up and he was getting red in the face and he was yelling. I thought that was good. The fact that his whole crew, other than Cabana, Cabana looks like a grown wrestler who's dressed yeah. nicely. But for the most part, his whole crew just looked like a bunch of job guys. Uh, sorry, Matt Cordona, with, but with, with Sharpie with Sharpies on their chests. Yeah, it looks ridiculous. Dustin and QT come out. QT doesn't even get in the ring. He's holding his neck, and then Dustin's just getting his ass kicked. 
made no sense. I don't know what the lawnmowers were. You know, a lot of people, you'll see this, and I've seen it for a while since he was Luke Harper, will say, Brody Lee reminds me so much of Bruiser Brody. Why? Because he has a beard? <laughs> what? He has a he has a beard and he's tall. Yeah, what exactly reminds so me of Bruiser Brody? So Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln reminds me of Bruiser Brody. There's a, though that's why he took the name because he's a big, tall, sloppy fuck with hair. So he wanted to call himself Brody. That's not his real name. Oh come on, that would be. I don't a know. I'm asking. I literally don't know. I don't know. If no, it, a, a guy that that everybody thinks is a copy of Bruiser Brody and probably thinks he himself is a copy of Bruiser Brody, calling himself Brody. I I don't think that's a coincidence. I don't. Who knows what Hold is. Hold on, real. I'm looking it up. Up and up. His real name is Jonathan Huber. Well, there you go. See, he should have been Spike. Spike Huber? Spike Huber. There you go. 